Hey everyone, welcome back to another XO Zeros video. Today we're going to dive into the new director's note for the season 5 update. Well, well, we have a lot of surprises, guys. I've already run through a, you know, a pass at the director's note and um, really put down effort into writing a couple of notes for um, this one because this is going to change the life of everyone in exos heroes especially the community um i'd like to start with this one so that we could discuss it along the way so just gonna skip the intro from um from the director of exos heroes and by the way guys i'm going to give you my honest opinion on this one and how i feel about um this change whether this is going to be good for the game or not whether this is going to be sustainable or not as well so st to start with uh, this is going to be there's going to be a battle system reorganization okay so the important thing in this reorganization is they're going to be returning it to being simple okay um i understand that um, when people actually join the game they usually tend to have a lot of questions on how to do this how to do that um, where can I where can I acquire this when I, when where I can acquire that so more or less right now um, they're going to keep it simple for us but is simplicity good at this point now that a lot of players are already accustomed to the system so first is going to be a hero ability reorganized system okay um, so there are a couple of stats here that are going to change so I'm gonna just select the notable ones from hit it's going to be a mark um crit hit is going to be crit hit rate which is um it's usually a percentage um you know this is a good change crit uh, damage value from crit damage block block value in lock remove look i really don't know what this means but i'm glad they removed it block and block value because again they're going to stick with dodge for this one and for the no this three the effect hit effect resistance and princer probability i don't know what this is so again they have to ha provide us with more explanation on what this does um it just says addition second is the guardian stone change okay just to give you guys a summary on the guardian stone change um the guardian stones won't give you benefits anymore so what are they going to do what are why are the why are the guardian stones there and what is their function so as you can see here this is a comparison of the before and after so six kinds of guardian stones so this is the before then the after af, um, once it's going to be changed there are going to be four of four types of guardian stones according to hero position not anymore according to hero element so destroy the opponent's guardian stones according to the hero's position maximum number of guardian stones will only be five no longer six so they're going to remove the guardian stones of the heroes okay remove guardian stone set effect so why are they there <laughs> again we use guardian stones to add certain effects so i hope they could answer this in 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 the future uh, whenever you destroy a, a, a undisclosed guardian stone, reset your turn and gain one mana. Each time you destroy a revealed guardian stone, you gain one mana. So apparently, your your guardian stones will will work against you because the opponent will be gaining something. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a what they call this. This is going to be a right uh, you know play at this point, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I hope there is a point to them doing this for the Guardian Stones. Third is going to be the ability calculation. So this is just how they, they what they call this, they evaluate the calculation of additions of buffs. Uh, before, they only based it on the, the basic stats of, of the hero, then the equipment. They didn't include the stats added by Signature 4. So now they're going to add... Uh, signature force um, buff stats to the additions in terms of buffs so that is the change this is actually good okay fourth is going to be the attack uh, attack hit method change again um, just gonna summarize this I've read through this already um, this one this is the before and the after basically what they're saying is they're 
there's no there's no blocks anymore um there is no redu uh, reduced uh, reduced damage because of a blocked attack so they're going to be putting it in dodge so they're, they're taking block entirely then dodge you can no longer um dodge it completely you'll be receiving a reduced damage okay so that is the change um, not sure this is going to be good. Probably yes, this is going to be good. Um, dodge has been annoying so far. Um, crucially, sometimes um, there are certain crucial and absurd um, dodges that have been made that is critical. Then I think for me, I think this is good. But the only thing that I am asking here, because there are two types of increased attack. One is your strong attack and the other one is your critical attack. So critical is basically the biggest. Then strong attack is slightly increased. My question is, how big is the difference? And why did they have to split this too? And do they really have to split it? So that is my question. I'll leave it up to the, to the devs to answer that one. Okay. Next is a fifth is strengthening the compa compatibility between element. This one, this is very vague. I've been reading this. I'm not sure how this diagram works. Uh, relationship of fire. Is this uh, fire against nature or fire with nature? So again, this one, the, com the compatibility element has to be explained further. I don't know. I don't really know how, you know, what is the meaning of this at this point. And, there, and they also, again, put up here an increase of evasion of heroes. Evasion. Define evasion because you already have dodge. Again, there are a lot of there are a lot of conflicting terms in this um, update. So let the directors actually the director, um, the, uh, what do you call this, clear this up with us. The so next would be our favorite would be the Fate Core. So along with the organization of the battle system, the Fate Core of Heroes and Fate Core will also be changed. So more or less, what they're saying is just to summarize this again. So that you would have a better understanding is um in this update the fate course passive skills are shared by each fate core theme that is done already so what happens to the unique passives that they have will will they change will they remove their unique passives which makes a certain hero unique so because again uh unique passives are what makes a hero particularly strong uh, if you give them the same passives all around, it's going to be, for me, it's going to be boring. So I'm not sure if they're going to remove it, but based on this, this statement is passive skills, skill effects are shared by Fate Core theme and they and they are arranged and, ch and changed with effects that reveal the color and character characteristics of the theme. Okay, Fate Core's active skills um, uh, will original skill effect as much as possible so more or less your active skills will, will will be the same so again this is very this is kind of vague for me because again what happens to the act to, to the unique passives especially for the generals what happens to them what happens to that if they're going to reorganize it what will it look like this is actually very again very vague next is going to be the simplified growth system okay let's see how simple this is Okay, so I'm gonna skip the intro. Um, first is remove attack type. Okay, attack type is going to be, is either, there's a summary for this, either uh, uh, it's physical or magical. So that only, I think, determines the equipment that they're going to be using. So they're removing the attack type and classifying um, all equipments as uh, the same type, which is actually good. Second is remove hero enhancement system okay so the hero enhancement system is going to be removed uh they will refund what we did already and um again uh the enhancement system will, will refunds um i'm not sure if this is going to be good um, I'm sure enhancements provide us with additional stats. So, with the with the you know removal of the enhancements, I'm sure 
um a lot of um buffs or uh what do you call this or additional stats will will be removed as well so again this is going to be sad third is removal of awakening system as well as with the awakening system you also get you know you get uh, additional stats for it um the problem with the waking system is if you're a beginner in terms of the materials you need, that's actually the problem. Um, I'm actually not okay with removing of the hero enhancement. I'm actually okay with the awakening system because some players, especially if they're starting the game out, they cannot even awaken, you know, quickly certain heroes. So again, they'll be returning materials to us, so... I don't know what will our heroes look like after this. I I, I I really don't know what the game is going to be. Anyway, let's just leave it up to them. They're the experts. So we'll have to wait and see. Next is the removal of the hero enhancement system. So the hero enhancement is basically for, you know, just a reminder. It's going to, it's actually a enhancement of um, how many guardian stones you can break at once per hit. So they're going to remove that. So again, I'm not going to... I do not know what will be the system moving forward for the Guardian Stones. How is it going to be important? Will it, you know, will it be good? Because the current uh, system is, for me, is already good for the, you know, for the Guardian Stones in terms of the breaking, um, the combinations. So again, I'm not really sure about the Awakening. Uh, the Awakening system, yes, it's good. The Enhancement system... Of course, they're going to get it out. So, yeah. Anyway, hero nationalities and hero grade reorganized. This one, I saw it coming. I, I actually predicted this by myself. That they're going to do this because um, I noticed already that they're not creating new heroes anymore for new nations. So, the simplest thing to do is to... It's like an NBA draft. If there is a new franchise coming in, um, the new franchise gets from the old franchises at least one player. But this is actually happening. This is an <laughs> there are going to be a couple of transfers from one faction to another. The most notable here, I'm just gonna you know um, say say it say it out. So uh, Tantalo is notable from Greenland to Saint West. So goodbye. Greenland for having that uh, tremendous defense with Tantalo. So I'm sure you're gonna, you know, scratch your head over this one. Deva, uh, not so much. Um, I think Adams is going to be Adams' transfer from Stories is going to impact Stories as well because Adams, you know, deals a lot of damage. And, um, well, I, I have to live with it because I have Adams. For Wasted Red, it's only a few. Scarlet, not used really. Annie is going to be a big impact because Annie is one of the main, um, main, um, main steady heroes with Wasted Red. Although she's not used now with the meta, but again, she is very all around and it will be a big loss for Wasted Red. I'm going to cry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, for North Von Frosty, it's North Von Elite. I'm not sure if they changed the name, but Lepin is a significant, you know, um, transfer to Brun. For the rares, you have here Zeon. So, Linombe, goodbye. Say goodbye to Zeon. You'll be depleted as well. So, it's he's going to North Von Frosty right now. So, again, there are a lot of changes here. A lot of team comps will be affected. Um... And um, particularly for Lenombe, particularly for Wasted Red, Estoris, and Greenland. They have one really good hero that's going to be transferred. So that is going to be a problem moving forward. Probably not because it's going to be a new challenge. But some, especially for those who have built teams already, we really have... You know, we really not like this change, especially if they built that uh, here already and just for him to transfer to a different team. Okay, so Signature Force um, reorganized. I read this, guys. If you're going to read this, 
they are just saying that they're going to further enhance, change, strengthen, uh, superlatives all the way, um, strong performance. So all positive changes, but non-specific. Okay, non-specific, no examples on how are they going to reorganize Signature Force. So at this point, this is very vague. So we'll just have to be content with uh, what we see in the future and what really is going to be Signature Force moving forward. Okay, equipment system. So the biggest change in Season 5 is the new equipment system. So the current equipment system has um, your, what do you call this, your um, Guardian Stone. So I guess I'm, I'm going to put this out that they're going to be removing um the garden stones there no 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 not removing um low stress acquiring okay the difference is so main options and sub options of the equipment okay so disregard what i said about garden stones and there is also a uh set separation equipments garden stone and set effect separation okay Okay, the, they're going to remove the Garden Stone set effect. Not the Garden Stones, but the set effect. Okay, and uh, and and they are planning a new set effect system, which we did not know yet. So, and also, as you can see here, um, okay, again, uh, separating uh, the effects from the Garden Stones. So again, there will be a lot of changes for the equipment. Um, again, this is going to be very vague at this point. We don't know the specifics yet. Um, exclusive weapon reorganize. Um, by the way, um, I saw here that you can actually create or customize weapons already, not just a standard one. So that is actually, I think, a plus because from the ex existing pool, we can customize equipment. Probably um, from the customization, you'll be receiving different types of buffs in, depending on how you're going to customize your hero i think this is what we really really want being able to customize a certain hero because again the current customization for exo zeros is really limited to a certain range but this one i think would give us more customization and increase in, in increasing certain stats so this i think is going to be good exclusive weapon reorganize um exclusive weapons will still be there they're just going to put a different slot for exclusive weapons. So uh, for those who invested in exclusive weapons, uh, don't worry. They're just going to put it in a different slot um, apart from your regular weapons. Okay, so next would be Airship Forge. This is just a very small. Remove exclusive weapon chance up because, again, uh, they're not going to... The main acquisition path for exclusive weapons is changed to direct purchase through the exclusive equipment book. I don't know what this is anymore, but we'll see. But this is, I think, I think this is a welcome change because again, nobody, only a small person, only a small percentage of the players do summon for the exclusive weapon because it's very costly. Anyway, and adding a new equipment crafting system. This is actually going to be good combination of new buffs customizing your weapons hopefully it's going to be a very good you know a, a very good advantage to all of us so recall system uh recall system the process like recall first time target returns all invested goods materials heroes fate course so this is more or less just uh, giving back what you consume. Okay, so for the closing comments, um, it, this is going. To, oh, the, the season five update is a first of many updates made over the past two years, aiming at improving the fundamentals of the game. As it is a bold decision, we will work hard to prepare. Hopefully, this is not going to be a big blunder again. Um, in a way, um, mysteriously, I I'm, I'm not liking the whole change, but this is more the updates are geared more into equal equalizing the playing field. Okay, so if you've established yourself already, your roster, um, 
this is going to be a problem for you know, the top players that are out there in terms of competing. They're go we're going to have to be adjust to a different system, rebuild certain teams. Um, certain teams might dominate, certain teams might go down. So again, this is going to be a big change in terms of uh, those who are, you know, doing well in especially in PvP because PvP rewards are very good. So again, this is for me a good way. It, this is actually a good way of reshuffling things. It's like a reset button. We're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna, you know, see what happens after this. But the, my only question is, is this reset number one timely? Is this reset gonna be good as what we have now? Okay, so take note of those questions. I'm not sure if this is good for the game. Um, for now, any ch for me, any change is good because we've been too stagnant and it hasn't been very exciting playing Exos years recently. So for me, I welcome this as long as this is going to improve the overall health of the game. Okay, so from this one, from restarting the basic fundamentals i expect more content again i've been asking the developers for more content they seem to be you know they seem to not hear me so i'm saying it again more content guys we need it after this one hopefully you guys can take care of this game this game is actually a nice game you just have to make it work and make it beautiful again um, a lot of players have left a lot of players are still here but again the overall vibe of the game is it has become too stagnant that there seems no nothing more to be excited about no excitement anymore nothing to look forward to only the fate course only dorka but again overall for the game um you have to give your players motivation guys or else they will look you know to other games that are coming out there they will look to other you know other things that excite them that give them more fun that give them more you know that give them more value in terms of being a player in terms of if they are spending you know uh, at least give them value for what they're spending and um i hope this you know gives you guys insight on what the new director's note is and sorry for the long video for those who have you know for those who have you know been here from the start of this video to the end i hope you you know subscribe if you haven't sub subscribed yet and also click that bell icon that you don't miss any exos videos heroes that i bring out and also put a like to this video if you think that i gave it justice okay guys thank you as always take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here